Afternoon, Andoni. Afternoon. I know it's not been long since you spoke to the media off the back <laughs> of playing West Ham in the Premier League. Um, let's just reflect on deadline day. I know it wasn't as busy across the Premier League as people perhaps expected, but it was certainly busy for you with the game and, of course, the signing of Ennis Sunal from Hatafe. Can you just tell us a little bit about the, the qualities that he'll bring and why he was the right player to bring in for you? Yeah, obviously, I think it's a player that uh, I personally know from from a lot of time, obviously, because he has been uh, playing in, in uh, Spain last seasons. I think he's someone who uh, has already proven that he can score a lot of goals there in, in La Liga. And I think his attributes, I think they will uh, adapt well for the for the Premier League. But obviously, he's coming from a, from a long injury, an ACL, so he's not still 100% and uh, will give him his time to become fully fit but I'm sure he will want to help us from the from the beginning. He scored against you last season, Rayo Vallecano. What, what do you remember about that game and, and what will he bring? What type of a profile as a striker is he? And what, fa- what can the fans expect from him? Um, uh, it's not only the last season I played more times against him. Uh, uh, I think he's a number nine. He's a number nine. He's uh, very good uh, in, 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 in the finishing. He also is, has a very good uh, long range shoot. He can shoot from the outside, even free kicks. Uh, he can uh, finish also good headers and a good physicality also no? to, to keep the ball, to, to help the teammates. I think he's quite complete also to be a number nine, yeah. You talk about him being a number nine, immediately people say, well, you've got one of the best number nines in the Premier League, Dom Solanke, who scored 13 Premier League goals. Has, has Ennis come in to challenge and come off the bench, or has he come in to play alongside Dom? How do you see that working? I think you need more, more than one number nine. Every team in the, in the world, I would say, has two, normally three number nines. Uh, we have just a specific now without Keith. We have Dom and Anenes. We have some other players that can help us in 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 this position, but uh, they are our two proper number nines specific, and uh, it's good to have two very good number nines. I think it's a good problem to have, yeah. Obviously, there were more outgoings than incomings over the course of the January window, but do you feel your squad is stronger now, better in quality than perhaps at the beginning of the window? But I was happy with the squad before the window and I'm happy after the window. I think uh, the departures have been more involved and uh, uh, the, the, the start of the of these movements have been more because the players that have left wanted to play more minutes, wanted to find another another place where they could start more games and I would have tried to replace them the, the best way with the, the recalls from from uh, Healy and, and Romain, and now with the with the signing of of, of NS, yeah. Will NS be available available to play on Sunday as he trained? No, I know, no, he's not here because he has he's he's Turkish, so he has to go through through, through the visa process, uh, and uh, he's already started in Spain. But uh, we don't know if sometimes it takes some hours and then he can fly back. Sometimes it takes one day, two day. I don't know how it will work, but he's not, he's not here and he's uh, waiting uh, to go through the visa process. Whenever uh, it finishes, he, he will fly straight away, but he, it's going to be difficult. Uh, if, if he's not especially for tomorrow's training, uh, it's going to be difficult. He, he's involved in the game. And in terms of the players that are available for Sunday's game with Nottingham Forest, can you just update us? I know there was obviously a match last night, but players that are coming back, and any doubts? No, I think we'll be the best, the, the same squad. The same squad, uh, Dango, the only one that uh, we may recover because he will be, he will be here. Uh, and the rest will be, will be the same, yeah. And just a quick word on Nuno Espirito Santo and Nottingham Forest. They've had two defeats in their last two games. Before that, two wins against Manchester United and Newcastle. So I guess it's always difficult to know what type of a Nottingham Forest side you'll be getting. They've been busy in the window. Can you just give us your thoughts from your analysis about the types of problems they'll pose for you and the qualities they have? 
I think it's a team that we have faced very recently. It was a really, really tough game for us. We won because, uh, not only because they played with 10, uh, but uh, it was probably the main reason. I think they they performed really well against us and it showed, no? The, the game after they went Newcastle away, they scored three, they won the game, then United at home, I think they are playing really well. They have uh, also a, a long squad, they have different different players in every position. Now also they've signed uh, three very good players that I don't know if they will get involved Sunday, but they, it gives them more 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 options and uh, it's going to be difficult, difficult, I'm sure, because they are playing well lately. Yeah. Thank you. Cheers. When you played them last month, was it? Yeah. That was Nuno's first game, wasn't it? How much of an impact has he had on the team since then? I think they are getting very good results. They've uh, had, uh, I would say, a really tough schedule and they've done really well. They've uh, beaten Newcastle, United, I think uh, very good teams. They were good also the other day against Arsenal, even if they lost. And uh, I, I expect a difficult match, a difficult match because they they have very good individual players. Also, they have different options, and they are using uh, the, the the numbers they have. And it's not easy to to preview what to expect from them. No? Toa one you didn't play in the game at their place against you. How dangerous is he? How highly do you rate him? I think they have a uh, little bit like West Ham yesterday, no? Uh, they are very, very good in the counters because they have speed, they have very good... Now they've recovered Abonigi. We saw with Langa how fast he is. Gibbs White is always a problem playing between the lines. So it's a bit like we 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 saw yesterday, you know, with, Bo with Bowen, with Kudus, with... You are playing well, you are controlling the game, but first mistake you can make, they can punish you and they have the players, no? they have the players up front especially, uh, that uh, they can make the difference, yes. And with such a quick turnaround, how, how does it work for you? When you're on the bus, are you straight away watching the West Ham game again? Or are you switching attention to clips of Forest or a bit of both? What do you do? Yeah, I, I went straight away with Forest because it's sometimes you go first to review, to take the, the analysis, but when it's just, I would say we arrive today at three o'clock in the morning, you know, and now we have uh, to present to the players the video already of, of Forest, the analysis. So uh, you have to go with Forest straight away. Obviously, there will be time and we'll find time to watch the, the game again. But now we are fully focused in, in, in Forest because you don't have much more, much more time and you have to, to prioritize. And I think uh, uh, we, we have to prepare very well for the game because also they have a really big advantage. They played two days ago at home. We are playing away. We arrived yesterday very late. Uh, and now we are here again and we are playing, I think, in 48 hours. So it's, uh, we have to prepare well because uh, it's going to be demanding for us, yes. Um, when Nuno took over, he brought with him four trusted lieutenants. Other managers seem to have backroom staffs of hundreds. When you arrived here, you only, you only brought one. It's, it's worked out very well, but was that a risk? Different approaches. Uh, I don't know what uh, works better. I'm uh, really happy with the uh, people around me. They are helping me a lot, and uh, I think it's, it's, it's working well. No, but uh, every coach has uh, different habits, and I don't, I don't, I, I don't know if uh, one is better than the other. I don't know. So you obviously had to get to know the players quickly, but you then had to get to know the staff very quickly too. So. Um, you need bonding experiences and things. Can you tell me about football bingo? Yeah, <laughs> you know more. You know a lot of things. Then <laughs> now it's normally we play. Sometimes it's our like uh, between videos, between analysis, we do a small break. We use this five ten minutes and we play football bingo, and it's good. It's good because they are very young, the analysts, and uh, whenever they are start uh, talking about older players, we can we can have the the, the gap there, the advantage. Yeah. The story I heard was that. 
when you first walked around the corner and saw them playing it, they thought they were going to be in trouble because they weren't <laughs> working. But then you got straight in. Is that how you remember it? Yeah, it's something like this. Yes, I think it's it's uh, it's not a matter of you have to be all the time working and in the focusing in the you know on the screen and you know there's moments for everything and uh, you can take a break and play whatever you you like even if they play some table tennis sometimes or it uh, it works for me because at the end it's not a matter of uh, spending the time and the hours and you know it's now nah, you have to do the job your job is well done perfect. Uh, we can play football bingo for five, ten minutes, nothing changes, yes. Final one on that then, paint a picture. How many of you are involved every day and do you always win? <laughs> this is controversial, yeah, for sure. No, whoever is there, normally we do a big call and whoever, like if the same, if we do it here, we we call whoever wants to join us and we try not to spend a lot of, of time, but uh, I think it's good also for the group, yeah.